Okay, we are on Menachot Perik Zion, Mishnah Bet, second Mishnah in the seventh chapter of Masechet Menachot. So let's just review what we, what we learned in the last Mishnah. It's a little bit complicated, the math, but in order to understand our Mishnah, we have to go over what we learned in the last Mishnah. We learned in the last Mishnah, the Lachme Toda, there were two Midot. There was Midat Midbarit and Midat Yerushalmi. Okay, so everyone agrees that there, it started with two Eifa, which in Midat Midbarit was six Sa'a, which was 20 Esronim. And half of the Esronim were for Chametz and half for Matzah. Okay, and so one Isar, so there were, and there were 10 loaves of Chametz, so 10 Esronim, one Isaron for each Chala. Great. And 10 for Matzah, so you divide it into three kinds. They were Chalot, Rikikim, and Revucha, wafers, and that uh, boiled dough kind of, boiled fried dough kind of thing. Okay, so you took, you took 10 loaves, okay? There were 3.3 Esronim, so each one was a third of the Bid Isaron. That's in the Midot Mid Bariot. And it's our review, but it's important to know for the next, for the for this Mishnah. Okay? And according to Midot Yerushalmiot, the Yerushalmiot, every two Eifa, okay, each Eifa was, was, was five Sa'a, not, the, the, five, two Eifa was five Sa'a, which was 30 Ka. Let me sure make, get, make sure I got that right. Yeah, pretty sure I got it right. Okay? There's six Ka for every Sa'a. So 30 Ka, 15 Ka went to the Chamez, 15 went to the Matzah, five each. That's all important information for us to know in order to go to our next Mishnah. So now in order to understand this Mishnah, there was something called the Miluim. Miluim was when they consecrated the Mishkan. So we're going to go to, we're going to go to Vayikra Perek uh, Chet. Vayikra Perek Chet. So the Torah says that when, the, when they consecrated the Mishkan, there was a Miluim when they, when they initiated the Kohanim. So among the different things they did, they brought in a number of Korbanon. Okay? Vayikruvu et ha'ayol hashini. So they brought a, a, a bunch of Korbanon. They brought the El Hamiluim, the ram of consecration. Aaron did smicha, etc., etc. They put the bud on his ear and on his hand, on his hand. Okay, and then it says the following: um, He took the fat, the fat tail, the fat that was in, etc., the parts. From the sa, the basket of unleavened bread, lakach chalat matzah achad, v'chalat lechem shemen achad. So from the basket of matzah, he took chalat matzah, one chalat matzah, one chalat lechem, and one rakik. So our mission is going to talk about well, what, what, did, what, how much do they have to prepare in order to prepare this miluim? It says the Mishnah, Hamiluim ayu ba'im kimatzah shabat toda. Just like we learned the matzah of the toda, like we learned here, right? Matzah, these ten matzah, three asunim sole, chalot, rikikin, and revucha. So they used uh, one eifa, three se'a, to get ten esronim, right? One eifa, ten esronim, ten tenths of an eifa. And that's how they prepared the same measurements that they used for the lachmei toda. That's the measurement they prepared in order to have the matzot miluim, from which they took one chala, one chala, one rakik, one wafer, and one, one rebucha. Okay? That's the miluim. Now, the next thing the is going to talk about is the nizirut. The, the, the Lechem of Nazir. So now we're going to go to Vamidbar Perek Chet. Vamidbar Perek Vav. Vamidbar Perek Vav. So when a Nazir finishes, Vizir Lashem at Yemen Israel, Vizot Torah Nazir Biyom Lo'od Yemen Israel. This is the day when he finishes, the day of the consecration. He brings a Korban. Among the Korban he brings, he brings Kebet Ben Shnato, Kerkev Sa'achat, Ayel Echad. Then he brings Besal Matzot, a basket of Matzot, unleavened bread. Solet chalot b'lulo b'shamen, urkikim matzot mishuchim b'shamen, chalot, and rikikim. You notice the Murbechet is not there, that's what the Mishnah says. Okay, so for the nazirut, for the chala of the nazir, for the, for the bread of the nazir, haita b'shtei yadot b'matzah sheba toda. Two yadot, two parts, two out of the three parts. So for the nazirut, they would bring two parts of the matzah, chalot urkikim. They would bring the matz from the toda, the, just the chalot and the mikikim. The enba revucha. So if we look over here, okay, so it, there we had, in, in this case, we had 10 matzah, we had 10, but now you only have two thirds of that chalot and rikikim. You don't have the revucha, you don't have the revucha. So therefore, nimsu, so it turns out, asara kabin yerushalmiyo, shem shisha esronot ve aduyam. Okay, meaning it turns out 10 kabusham. Let's go back to our original thing. Remember, we had in, in the kabushami, you had in the Korban Torah, you had 15 kab of matzah, five chalot, and five 
Rikikim. So if you only had the five Cholim and five Rikikim, you'd have ten Kav. So that's how much they made for the for the for the Lachme Nazir. Ten Kav. And that, if you count, if you figure that into Midbario, it would be 3.3 plus another 3.3, 6.6, 6 and two thirds, which is, that's what it means. We have Asara Kavin Yibishami, 10 Kav Yibishami, which is six Esronot, six Ve'aduyan, Ve'od Ve'od, plus plus. That means six and two thirds. Umikulan, from all of them, Ayanotel, oh, I lost my place, Kayanotel, Achad me Asara, Truma, one out of the ten, they would give Truma, that would go to the Kohen. You take one from every korban, Hashem, and then we give that, and that would that would go, uh, that would go to the kohen from every one of them. Uh, that's what the Bartunur says. Mikulam from every one of them of the mikol arba minim sheva toda from all the four minim ayokonim nodim echad miasara. So in the korban toda, remember we had forty loaves, okay, ten chametz, and then it's not ten chametz, it's 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 ten esronim, but thirty loaves, ten chalot plus ten plus ten plus ten. So you give one out of every ten, you would give to the kohen. Okay, echad, mikrel mimenu echad shlo yitopos. You can't give him a broken piece. You can't take a piece that's that's cut. You have to give him a whole loaf. Mikol korban. Why does it say mikol korban? She call a korbanot shavim. So that all of the korbanot should be equal, meaning ten chalot as we said from every one in korban in the Torah. Mishlo yitopi korban lechaveru. And you can't take from one, okay, to the other. Man, you can't have 15 chalot, 15 rikikim, and five uh, revuchot. La kohen azareket adam ha-shalamim lo yeh. Okay, it goes to the kohen who, who that, that the pasuk says, the pasuk continues. To the kohen who pours the adam ha-shalamim, you should get it. Vashar ne'echa le-ba'alim. So the kohen gets his one-tenth, and the rest is eaten by the owners. Okay, we'll stop here. Dedicate our, our, our learning to memory of my father. Rab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.